Hey there everybody, this is Ira, and I'm back in Vintage Store. Well, I'm not quite in there yet, ignore this. I know there's an update, but it doesn't affect anything that I'm trying to do today as far as I know. So, uh, I, I tried a challenge in the desert, and I found that it wasn't as challenging as I'd expected, and I've been thinking about making another challenge, as most of you probably know. Um, and I kind of settled on a Winter Wonderland challenge, and I actually have been testing this out in another world. I've, I've got about six hours in that world, and friends, it is possible, but it is very challenging. The main challenge, of course, is finding enough food. There are no plants around that you can eat. The only source of food is arctic foxes and arctic hares, and you have to, of course, kill them, and then you have to skin them, and then you have to cook the meat because the game does not allow you to eat raw meat, which I have to say I disagree with. I think it should give you a less saturation, of course, if it's raw, and maybe eventually some chance of, you know, poison or something, but um, you should be able to eat raw meat. I mean, come on, come on. But for now, we can't, and I haven't changed that, so that's gonna be the case. So, uh, here are the settings I'm using for the world. I wanted to show everybody so you can do it with me. Uh, we've changed temperature to snowball earth. Put the microbox chiseling on. I don't know if I'll ever get to that, but uh, I have made all combat related things much easier. So, I keep my inventory if I die. 10 days before monsters appear, that's the maximum. Um, passive creatures, which means most creatures won't attack, only monsters will attack, and they won't attack unless you get closer. Uh, but creatures that have aggression, like the arctic foxes, will attack if you hit them. So they'll fight back. Uh, the hares will not, but they'll run away real fast. Creature strength I put at the absolute lowest because you'll see. <laughs> and when I was trying this before, I nearly got killed by animals many times, even with it on this. Uh, so, and I gave myself the maximum hit points, all the way up to 35. Hunger rate I've set to slightly slower. I haven't set it any lower than that because I want the challenge to be real, and the challenge will be real with this. Uh, so my hunger will go down fairly quickly, but not quite as quickly as normal. At the, in the beginning, this is going to be especially important. Uh, I set my walk speed to fast because we need to do a lot of traveling, and I just don't want to waste a lot of time walking. I've added block gravity to the soil because I just like the extra little small challenge that that adds now and then. Food spoilage is normal. I've increased the growth speed of, uh, decreased the growth speed of saplings, increased the time it takes. Normally, I think it's eight days. I've set it to 12 because I think it makes sense. It's cold. They're not going to grow that fast. Tool durability and mining speed all the way up. That's also going to be essential, because uh, even flint and stone is going to be a resource that we need to deal with in the beginning. And I've increased the uh, frequency of copper and tin, because it's going to be hard enough to get metal without also having to deal with, you know, searching the entire world for it. So, those are my settings. We've got Winter Wonderland Challenge. I'm not putting a seed in there, but I'll, I'll check what the seed is when we get in there. Let's go ahead and create world. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a difficult challenge. I'm excited about it. World's not gonna look like this, folks. This is very pretty. It's not gonna it's gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be a different kind of pretty. So we'll let this generate. Ooh, there we go. All right, that took a little while. I'm gonna put on just the warmest clothes I could find. Maybe that one. Yeah, maybe those trousers there. We want shoes. We don't want sandals. We're out in the snow. This doesn't affect gameplay at all. But okay, we've got foxes around us already, which is good. <gasps> we've got flint immediately. Okay. Priority number one, folks, is going to be getting an axe, and I can actually do that right now, which is much faster than uh, I got it last time. So let's quickly, the reason we need an axe is because we can't eat any available food, we can't eat any of the meat that we're going to get from the animals without cooking it. So we need to be able to get firewood immediately. So this was a very lucky. I did not start with flint right next to me last time. Uh, we also need to find some sticks. We need to find some trees. I am also going to make a couple of knife blades here because we can kill the animals with the axe, but we can't skin them and butcher them and get the meat from them without a knife. So we have the tool, the two essential tools right here. We will need to find some more flint, of course. This is a very fortunate start here. So the, the, the priority is going to be get some kind of food. I would like to find one more flint uh, and make a spear so that we can kill the foxes without taking damage uh, because the spear can reach a further distance so you can trap the foxes in a little hole and then you can uh, you can uh, I can I can walk and talk at the same time. Come on now, folks. Oh, there's nothing else around here. Oh, there's trees in this direction. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I also want to try to do this one without the map. So that's going to be interesting. I will give myself the coordinates so I know, you know, I can always find my way back to the starting area. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's Christmas. It must be Christmas. Christmas came late this year or early next year, depending 
Um, spectacular. By the way, these these snow blocks, when you drop items on them, they just disappear because they're covered by the snow. <laughs> Which can make things tricky. Okay, so we got plenty of flint. Oh my gosh. That is a massive win. It took me so long to find flint last time. Let's come over to where these trees are. Uh, so yeah, usually... Oh, there's copper right here. Usually I, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. We're not, we're not gonna worry about that just yet. I'll find more copper, I'm sure. Um, more flint. I'm just gonna pick up all that I find. Also, inventory space is gonna be at a premium, folks. Don't forget that. Oh, there's, there's ruins right here. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. I'm gonna break all the leaves I see. I think there is a small chance of getting sticks from just the regular leaves. I might be wrong about that. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments so I don't waste time on it anymore. Uh, but also I can get saplings from just the regular leaves. Which I can... Uh, then plant. This is gonna take a long time for the trees to grow back. That's gonna be important at some point. Nothing yet. Oh, we got one birch. You can plant them on the sand, by the way, which is very fortunate, because otherwise we'd have to use precious, um... Precious dirt blocks, which we're going to get from the ruins. This is actually like a, just a, a spectacularly brilliant start. Whoop, the, the ice makes you slip and slide, by the way. I don't know how well you're going to be able to feel that just from the video, but when you're playing and you're going across the ice, like, I'm not moving right now. It just keeps kind of drifting me. Drifting me along. we got to find all the sticks right under the snow. Did I get them all? Woo, 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 woo. I hope so. Pine leaves, pine leaves. Oh, there's some more. There's the sticks. There's the sticks. Okay. Plenty of sticks. Ooh. Getting a little bit of lag. I'm telling you what, folks. Um, I'm having a friend who knows about building computers and computer hardware come over this weekend. Um, I'm gonna also make a spear since we have enough. We can get our first food. Oh, this is wonderful. I was basically starving the last time I tried this in the other world before I managed to get set up with the tools I needed to not starve to death. You can find food in the ruins, uh, but you only find raw grain, which gives you very little nutrition. Okay. Awesome. Uh, interesting fact, by the way, you can make a shovel, but the shovels don't help you dig up the snow any faster, which is a shame. I feel like maybe they should. I feel like maybe you should be able to use a shovel to dig up snow faster, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. Uh, let's take a look at these ruins. There's tons of foxes around, so I'm gonna be fine on food. Some copper here. Okay, this might be my kind of home base area. It's close to spawn in case I die. And we've got landmarks around. Oh, my, it's so slippery. It's so slippery. Is it? Yeah, it's here. I have kind of gotten to know seed. Okay, actually, this is this is great news. Um, I'm not going to take it yet. I'm not going to take it yet. I got to keep an eye on where I am. I feel like I keep starting and not completing thoughts. I apologize, friends. I've got so much going on in my brain at the same time. This, uh, ruin over here is going to have a... <laughs> the cat is behind me playing on a piece of paper and he's making so much noise. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, this is gonna have a forage vessel and a food vessel, which we can keep for emergencies. I do want to get that for... I want to hit that forage vessel. It's gonna be right here. I have learned during my other, uh, playthrough here... Let's get the snow. The snow is really slow to dig up, as you can see. What do we got? Okay. 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 Holy crap, you guys. This is like the luckiest start ever. This is, this is bananas. So there's a food vessel right, it's like right here, I think. Uh, but we don't need it yet, so I'm gonna leave that there. We got rocks all around. We got plenty of copper, which is awesome. Pick up the flint as I find it. Just because it's already taken up an inventory slot, and actually... Actually, yeah. Um, okay. Here's the thing. Alright, let me try to outline my strategy a little bit clearer here, now that I am kind of in good shape, for a start. Um, we're gonna be living off of meat for a long time. The way we can get the meat, we can chase the foxes. Is that- <gasps> Is that a hare? That's a baby hare?! That's a hare- Oh my gosh, you guys! Jackpot! We've hit the jackpot. Okay. Flint hoe head. You're gonna... Okay, so so the plan is, live off of meat for a while. I've got seeds in the vessel right over here, which I am going to plant, and I'm going to make a hair trap. So a, a 
a farming area where the vegetables will grow, whatever, or, or grain or whatever I got the seeds for is gonna grow very slowly. I mean, just insanely slowly, because the only soil available is going to be uh, low fertility soil. It's gonna take ages and ages and ages for stuff to grow. Okay, and speaking of which, I do need to, uh, I do need to, bleh, my start menu keeps popping up. I'm playing on, um, I'm playing on windowed mode with the taskbar hidden instead of full screen mode because whenever I come out of, cut, come out of full screen mode, uh, the game crashes. It's a little frustrating. So what we need to do now is we need to dig around. Ice is easy to dig, so that's very, very convenient. Um, and we need to find some soil. There's going to be a little bit of low fertility soil, and almost all the ruins are going to have some. I'm going to dig around and find that. Um, so I'm going to make a hair trap with these seeds, and that'll be a source of meat from the start. Uh, and then I can go around hunting foxes for food, and then once I've got enough food that I know I'm not going to starve anytime soon, I can move on to the next step. And the next step is going to take ages, because the next step is I need to try to- here we go, here we go! Soil! I could make a shovel, but it's fine. It's fine, I got this. So I would like six pieces of soil if I can find them. There's four. If I can get two more, that'll be just swell. Up here. I love the way the snow falls, by the way. Um, two more pieces of soil. Uh, yeah, so so we're gonna need clay to move on from this this kind of section. There we go, we got it. Um, and that's that's easier said than done, because there is no clay in the world. There is no clay in the world. So this is how I do the hair traps here. This is the strategy that I've been using. Oh, I'm only gonna have glacier ice. All right, it's fine. Um, in order to move on, we're gonna need to be able. To, we're gonna need uh, metalworking, right? So, in order to work metal, we're gonna need clay. But clay is only gonna be found in forage vessels, and very rarely, if my experience in my other world means anything at all. Uh, it's gonna be very rare to find, to actually find the, um, the clay. It took me about six hours to find my first pieces of clay in the other, in the other save. Uh, that's a lot, it's a lot of play. It's a lot of play time. Way out here. I need to go get some more sticks as well so I can make a ladder out of here. Um... So that's probably gonna be the big thing. I was expe I was actually expecting this part to take longer, because it did last time, but I got much luckier with my star this time, so this is spectacular. Uh, so what I need to do is just basically start exploring. Uh, uh, plant the seeds, get this set up, hunt a few foxes or hares or whatever I can find around right now, get a little bit of food to start with. You can see my hunger has already gone down a significant amount. And then we'll go out ruin hunting. And what I'm gonna have to do to make sure I don't get lost I mean, I do have the coordinates, which will help, but I'm also going to need to make some kind of waypoints. Not in the sense of set waypoint with the command in the game, but in the sense of I need to, like, make towers of snow and stuff like that that I can follow. I could make a shovel and this would go so much faster. And at this point, I feel like I'm almost done. Here we go. Get that gravel. There we are. And then... I'm just gonna stick the gravel up here so I can walk around without slipping and sliding. Just because I find it annoying to slip and slide on the ice all the time. And I'm gonna be doing it a lot, because the entire world is kind of frozen. There we go. Give me these back, So I'm gonna want blocks for various reasons. Come up here, let's get some more sticks. Actually, you know what, let's... Always gotta be thinking of inventory space. Always, always, always. So whenever we can consolidate or have just one type of something, I'm gonna go for that. Oh, there we go. Good to get those. Come on, sticks. I need, I need seven sticks. I've got five, six. One more, one more. Oh no, it's a dead hair. There's foxes around here, so they're also going to kill some of the hares, unfortunately. Oh. These- ah! My start menu keeps popping up and it's driving me nuts. Just get 
that down there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get any food from this, but I also think that having corpses around stops new animals from despawning, so we just gotta... Unfortunately, I'm gonna put that little baby, baby hair to rest. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna put a ladder here so I can get out, but the hairs won't be able to. And now finally, we hoe it up. This is all going to be uh, made irrigated by the water right there, because it can go three blocks. And there we go. All the hairs in this area will be attracted to that now. And actually, we can probably just like come hang out over here, maybe uh, collect some more sticks and stuff. Maybe cut down some trees, get a fire pit ready. Or at least some stacks of firewood, if not fire pit. Oh, look at this. This is a good bush right here. Wah! Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there's ice under that snow, I'll tell you what. It actually makes me panic a little bit. When I was a young child, this is a true story. Um, when I was a young child, I... Uh, I fell on some ice. And I split open the top of my head. Or like right right above my, uh, my eyebrow, right above my eye. Uh, I had to go to the emergency room and get stitches. It was very terrifying. And so sometimes when I... <laughs> I was okay, obviously. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, still here. Still kicking. Didn't die. But, uh... Every now and then, when the, I suddenly slip on ice in this game... Without expecting to, it's, uh... It spooks me a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna chase these foxes away. Is this a dead rabbit or a sleeping rabbit? It's a sleeping rabbit. Okay, rabbit, go go for those seeds that are over there, please. Okay, I'm gonna chase the foxes now. Something I have discovered in the snowball world, which is very handy, is that they will jump up and over the ice blocks, but they won't do it with the snow blocks. For whatever reason, they get kind of stuck. So what I can do is I can... Oh, they're actually on. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Ah, wrong block. Dang it. <laughs> they, they won't jump over these snow blocks, so I can actually... Just dig the ground out from underneath them like that. Uh, but it has to be against the snow, so let's go and get this one. Oh goodness, my, my cat is now asking for uh, for lunch. I tried to give it to him before I started recording. He said, no, I'm not hungry right now, and here he is. Asking for lunch. So I'm gonna just get this guy where I want him, and I'm gonna pause the game be right back. All right, and I'm back. Oh, okay, only lost my footing very slightly here, okay. So I'm gonna dig the snow out from underneath this fox. Hopefully before it moves, there we go. And now, at my leisure, I can just poke it with my spear. Usually takes about four hits. Ooh, it's a tough fox, five hits. Then, whoop, try not to slide all over the ice. We butcher up the fox, and let's see what we got. We got two bush meat, rawhide, and a bone. So the rawhide and the bone are not very useful, and they probably won't be for a very long time. I'll hold on to them for now, but if I need inventory space for anything else, then I will go ahead and take it. Uh, you know what I should do is probably make a tool rack and go hang up the tools that I don't need as well. Um, I'll take back- whoops, no, no, there we go. Take back the ice. I don't know if the bones make any difference towards, uh... Towards the critter count. I'm gonna chase this hair towards my farm. Hopefully it will jump down there, make it much easier to catch. Or maybe it'll just get stuck on a tree. Okay, there it goes. It's moving very slowly. There we are. You two. You two. Get on. No, no. Go the other way, please. Ah! Ah! Snow! Ice! Help! Slippy! I'm slippery! Alright, let's give them a second. See if they get attracted to those crops there. Whoa! That thing ran fast. Let's just, let's, let's just take a little perch up on the wall. Just a little perch up on the wall. Um... Cut this up. Oh no, there is one other thing that I need though. Friends is in there. There is, and I forgot. Um, and that actually might be quite difficult. I got it in a... Uh, um, what are they called? A loot vessel last time. But this time, I don't have any yet. Uh, we can't start the fire without straw. So, I can get straw. But it's going to take a while, and I might starve. <laughs> might have to use that grain uh, that's in the other ruin over there. From the food vessel. 
Uh, yeah, because you can't, you can't start a fire without straw. There's no other way to do it. This is really a proper challenge, my friends. Alright, I think we've pretty much come around here. Still hoping I might find another piece or two, so I only got the one here. It's not very much. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, goodness. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, the way we can get straw, then, is we can just... Put down some dirt and hoe it up. Put my hoe away like a fool. Eventually, some grass will grow in there, but it will usually take a while. I see a hare. I see a hare going towards my trap. Oh, it ran away. <laughs> I can chase down the hares the same way as the foxes. However, it's not going to matter right now. It's not going to matter until I can get some hay. Let's just put this down. Or let's let's maybe make a little tower up here. A little, little waypoint. Okay, um, I can go and loot this other ruin for dirt. Probably take the grain, because I think I'm going to need it. I'm hoping I'll be able to do this without starving to death, frankly. Um, this is going to be tricky if I don't manage. I, I, I was kind of hoping I might manage to find some, some uh, grass here in this loot vessel, but I did not. Alright, that food vessel will be... Here, I think. Very close to here. Hereabouts. There it is. Grab that, and there will also be... Oh, what is this? What is... That's not food? Resonance Archive? I can't do anything with this. I'm probably just gonna have to throw that away. Seems like it's probably a late game sort of thing. I'm not gonna have storage for a real long time, folks. There's just not gonna be any. Oh man, that should have been food! <laughs> Crap! I thought I had a little safety net over here. Oh, the snow takes so long to dig through. Oh man, oh man. I see, I see there's like... Uh, more cobblestone to the side over there, but it's not... That's not dirt, that's cobblestone. Is there not gonna be any dirt in here? I know there is somewhere, but I guess it's going to be harder to find than I had hoped. Since we only have one layer of ice and then there's more snow underneath. That's going to make it a lot harder. Alright. I think maybe uh, the better plan then... Come on. There we go. Uh, will be to continue looking for more... Um, I'll hold this for now, but... <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything in this area. I see what appears to be a ruin over here. It might be more trees. Let's see if we can either find some food or some straw or at least some more dirt. Right? That's gonna be important. I have to keep track of where I've gone. My, I do have the map in the game, of course. But my kind of extra challenge to myself is to do this without using the map and without setting waypoints. Which might be, it might be too much. That might be crazy. I didn't do that last time. I did use the waypoints last time. I think this is a seed vessel. Yeah. I mean, that's great and all. It's pumpkins. Jeez. What am I going to do with pumpkin seeds? I'm not going to be able to get any pumpkins out of them. They're just going to have to be a permanent hair trap, I think. Okay, can I see? I can see that from here. So this is another waypoint. I'm just going to throw this in the water. <laughs> Seems cool and all. Oh, I should have left the logs down uh, back there. It's fine. It's fine. Because um, if I was looking at the map, I could probably see other nearby ruins that I can't see just looking with my eyes. I don't know, folks. It might be too difficult to do it without the map. Is that a hair over there? Probably. It doesn't matter. I can't cook it. I need dirt. Oh, there was probably dirt here. The thing is, it can take a really long time. I only need one bit of grass, but it can take a long time for that first bit of grass to show up, is the problem. Let's see if I can get some dirt here. Oh, is that another ruin right there? Or is that bushes? Okay, let's check this area for dirt first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't think the bony dirt will give us uh, any grass. 
really wish there was a faster way to dig up snow. But like I said, I have tested it and uh, using a shovel on it does not help at all. Oh man, am I going to get super unlucky here? I haven't memorized which ones have dirt and which ones haven't because I've had enough luck in my other in my other world where I always manage to find plenty enough dirt. This time may not be the same way. I might starve to death, folks. We're getting pretty low. Nothing. Not a one. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. Oh, beans. I might, folks, I might be boned. <laughs> I mean, we don't exactly have permadeath on here. If I die, I die. But I was hoping to be able to do it without dying. This is, this is a proper challenge. This is a proper challenge. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. I thought I saw... Was it this way? Yeah, it was this way. I thought I saw what might have been another ruin poking up. Is this a ruin? Oh, it is! This is another seed vessel. <laughs> Give it to me, then. What we got? I don't need this much ice. And I can drop the claystone gravel, I think. Um, okay. That's, that's great and all. But again, what I need, ah, what I need is dirt. Ah, oh, slippy. I need better shoes. I need, I need ice appropriate shoes, please. There we go. All this bony soil. I need just regular old dirt is what I need. Can I? Tell me, game. I cannot hoe it, no. I didn't think so. Didn't think so. I don't know, I don't know, friends. It's not going well. I got too excited at the start. I jinxed it. Yeah. I I don't think there's any, uh, just dirt here. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I just glanced over. Oh, 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 we got one piece. One piece of low fertility soil. Hallelujah. No? No. There we go. Um... Uh, it looks like we're just about out of time for this episode, so I think we're gonna have to do is just leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, folks. Am I going to find what I need to survive? Or am I not? Only one way to find out, and that's tune in next time. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I'll see you later. Wish me luck. Bye! Hey, everybody. It's Ira, and, uh, as I was editing this episode together, I realized I was a little bit all over the place, and I probably didn't do a very good job of sort of explaining what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and uh, what all my priorities are. So first of all, I am pre-recording several episodes in a row, so uh, I will not see your comments for the next few episodes, probably. Uh, please still leave your comments, I will read them, but just be aware that I won't be able to act on them yet, because I'm pre-recording. Uh, second of all, obviously this is not 1.12 yet, I was going to wait for 1.12, uh, but I just really wanted to get started on this, and it's not ready yet, so I'm just doing this. Um, when 1.12 is released, I will not update this world, because I don't think that's probably not going to work very well. Um, instead, I will finish up this challenge and then move on to 1.12 and do something else. Um, the rule that I have for myself is that no map allowed. So no maps, no waypoints uh, through the map system. I just have to use the landscape to try to, you know find my way. It's going to be tough. <laughs> um, uh, at least for now. I, I may decide to lift that rule later. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you think. I might be willing to lift that rule if it's if it's making things too difficult or less fun. Um, my priorities in order to survive this frozen world. Uh, priority one, I need to get grass so that I can make fire so that I can cook the meat. All right, that's going to be a big one. Uh, then I need to, as a priority, hunt for enough meat to kind of stay alive for a while. Then I need to be looking at ruins, trying to find seeds, trying to find uh, reeds and things that I can use to make more storage, which will make a huge difference. Uh, then the next priority is to find clay. Once I have clay, I can make a cooking pot, which will give me a lot more nutrition out of my food and a lot more satiation. Then I need more clay in order to start metalworking. So that will be first a hammer mold and an anvil mold, which takes quite a lot of clay, and some uh, ingot molds. And with those three things, I can start making metal tools. Once I've unlocked metal tools, I basically sort of, I win. I basically got to the point where I don't need to worry about anything anymore. Um, if I feel like I want to keep playing, then I'll focus on trade and see if I can get some more rare things. Uh, I do have a question for all of you, though, as I go forward. Um, to make leather, 
you need oak wood, and I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any oak wood on this map. I don't think it's going to be possible. I also don't think you can get oak wood from trades. Two ways to go about this to fix it so that I can use all of these skins that I'm getting. One, I can mod in oak as a trade with the NPC traders, so that would be something expensive that I would have to work towards and hope for. Uh, or I can mod the game so that I can make the tannin with other logs, but I would need a lot more logs in order to do it. So I wouldn't have to uh, work towards a trade, I would just be able to use the wood I have, which usually oak is not hard to find, so it's usually not supposed to be that difficult of a thing. So what do you think about that? Trading or using other woods? You tell me what you think, leave a note down in the comments, um, and thanks for watching, everyone. Check out my Patreon. These guys did.